join Brian J. Ford in his quest for the Telly Business Addicts in Computer Challenge. <laughs> the intellectuals of the land gasping with excitement, the series everybody has been following with clenched fists and unmatched eagerness. Well, now it's just Beach back with the same old computer challenge. This week we have two teenagers ready to challenge a team of executives to see who can make the most money out of £50,000. They will buy and sell shares, trying to dodge the odd dirty trick as they proceed. Working it all out is my little computer friend. And at the end of the series, a Concorde ticket each will be the prize to the top team in the entire run. Then they can look in at Wall Street and see the anguished faces of the people who do that kind of thing for a living. I'll keep an eye on what happens from behind the scenes, but first, here are today's challenges. From the Sir Richard Gwynne Roman Catholic School, Flint, Nick Roach and Chris Roberts. On call tickets. Does that appeal to you, Nick? Oh, yes, yeah. You have family overseas? Uh, my dad, yeah, he works away in Saudi Arabia and we get the chance to travel, you know, uh, twice a year. Strange, Britain is getting more and more filled with Saudis and Saudi Arabia is getting more and more filled with the Brits. Yeah. We'll change over if it goes on like this. Totally. What about you, Chris? What do you do with yourself? Well, a lot of time with uh, design lessons in school, the projects go out of school and uh, one of the ones we've had recently is some handicapped people from around the area we live have uh, come to us with problems they find around the home and there's a team of us in school, we, you know, we get down together and that's kind of sort their problems out. I mean, so often school seems to divorce you from the real world, but that's taking you back into it. Mm -hmm. How very nice. OK, well, settle into your corner and put on your red headphones. <laughs> And today, from Oxford, we welcome hotel executives who are represented by Mark Newton and Vivian Ellis. How nice to see you both. Mark, apart from uh, the hotel business, what else do you do with yourself? Um, I just started to play a little bit of golf. Um, I like listening to music an awful lot, and uh, I do a little bit of juggling in my spare time. Juggling? Yes. How many balls? Just three balls at the moment. Still a novice, but... Maybe I'll be able to apply some Three is terrific. Them. Juggling three balls, it sounds more and more like what I find myself doing here. And what about you, Vivian? Spare time interests? I'm very uh, hooked on furniture restoration and uh, I enjoy going around national trust offices and uh, home decoration. Are you studying um, uh, reproduction in furniture? Manner, in a manner of speaking, yes. There's a, um, a furniture restorer in a village nearby to where I live who actually takes five of us in the winter evenings and... Uh, I've been doing it for two years now. That's good fun. Mm. You could make a lot of spare time money out of that too, I should think. Uh, you'd have to be pretty good at it to do that. I'm sure you would, be, Vivian. <laughs> Settle into your desk then and put on your yellow headphones. Each team has 30 seconds per round in which to consider what they're going to do. And if you're ready, teams, the first round starts now. Right then, let's go, Nick. Yeah. Profits are no profit, 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 profit option again, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The tried and tested opening, that, building up an income from the profit options. No cost on it. Yeah, fiddly, fiddly. we got a fiddly. And this way they retain all their cash assets. <laughs> no, I mean, great. Yeah, I think so. It's the tax inspector's visit. Yeah. Right, we'll take the chance, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell, so we to see Profits as well. Well, I think those management consultants that were on earlier uh, seem pretty duff, so um, let's get those let's in, ignore in. their advice, and we might actually make a bit of money. No man ever got rich by being cautious. <laughs> well, it's worth the nerve. gamble, worth the yeah. gamble. 
Yeah, same, same thing, thing again, I think. I'm selling, yeah. Here's all your Barrett stocks. Eggs and goes, yeah. Everything's gone. So we're level with them now, but yeah, but they're gonna get the money because the oil never crashed, did it? At the end of this sale. Right, sell everything. Yeah. Get it on the right one. Whatever you do, yeah, right. <laughs> Property. And bank it. Is this going to take us over the million? Oh, Fantastic. No, no. It will. Yeah, just. Oh, superb. <sighs> as long as you right. don't crash at the end, yeah. Of course you. Well, then I've got everything. How much are we going to get? Top silver if we get 60% coming from the oil. That's about a million. We have, we have to make it and they have to crash. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing we can do. Just you cross your fingers, will you? Hasn't gone. Yes, it has. Hold on. That hasn't gone. This is it, there's us. Oh, we, we won't know. Split it, but don't, um, fairly low on banking. Right, put, um, 300,000 on banking. Put, um, 500,000 on property. And put the rest on oil. This is the crunch. <laughs> right then, last minute revaluations. Oh dear, if the world was as good humoured as this game has been, all our problems would cease. But let's turn first to the Flint team in the red corner. Hey. Are any of their shares due to crash? No, come on. Oh. <laughs> Well, what's half well, a bit between friends? Now they will sell their remaining shareholdings. Oh, this is good. Yes, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. And now the same for the people in the yellow corner. Banking, property, oil, oh. all safe. Wow. So now they can sell their remaining shareholdings and we'll see how much they have left in the kitty. One and three quarter million pounds. No wonder the hotel business is doing so well these days. So let's have a look at the final scores. Well, that's a pretty solid beating. Three to one in terms of earnings. Commiserations then to Flint. You played very well, but it didn't quite work in the end. And congratulations to this week's winners, the hotel executives, Vivienne and Mark. Well done, Mark. I've never seen anybody juggling better. Thank you. Congratulations, Vivienne. Okay, so we'll take a fleeting glimpse at the leaderboard to see what the state of play is. And don't forget to join me at Computer Challenge the same time next week. Until then, from all of us here, goodbye.